Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew, situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? For, you know, the views. The views, right. This way, oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gonna fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Good. Just push. Seems easier to open from that side. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. city between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Out here you can't smell the shit corpse dump on the streets. Like the city's their own personal toilet. Shit flush repeat. Hmm. Poetic. Couldn't have said it better. Got something for you. Wow. <laughs> What's the occasion? Aiming to close the door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. In this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. All right, V. You know why we're here, don't you? Say you do. 
Please, don't string me along. That the pickup line you settled on? Because maybe heard three in my life that were worse. And just a little, I thought. Wouldn't mind hearing them. Yeah. Happy to oblige. So I'm at a bar. And this gonk taps me on the shoulder and says, Here I am, baby. You got two wishes left. What'd you say? Spoke my second wish. That he would fuck off. Was there a third? Mm-hmm. Wished him a speedy recovery. Broken arm. Merciful, I'd say. Will you swallow? Beautiful. <laughs> you serious? This guy and I. Sitting in a diner. Five minutes, he gapes at me. Not a word. Then, drops that bomb. Oof. I'll fuck you for free. <laughs> what? Got a contract. To pull info out of a gigolo in a tech mink fedora. It was weird. He was spilling. And then he pulled that one out of his hat. A candid and generous proposal, V. You should have at least considered it. Okay. Last one was good. You know, woman once told me I have sexy calves. That's it? Just like her boyfriend's before he lost his legs in the war. Yikes. She was right, though. I do have great calves. Listen, River. If you expect this to evolve somehow... Don't stand a chance, do I? <laughs> Maybe we keep it at friends? Yeah. Sure. All right. We can still have a drink. Something strong's sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Here's to Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. We'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning. <laughs> in the moon, and there's still no cure for hangovers. Well, at least we had fun yesterday. Yeah. Um, but now I gotta roll. Promised Joss I'd take her to see Randy. No rush, either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need.
tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. And then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for you. CPD got a call about a cyber psycho and actually sent a patrol this time, but it's been a few hours with no report back. Either those cops got scared and bounced, or anyway, could you check it out for me? Be much appreciated. Hey, V. Come on in. Pizza's getting cold. We're in the kitchen. You made it. Good. Grab a seat. This is Roxanne. She's worked at Clouds longer than any of us. Hello. Hey, nice to meet you. When I heard what you pulled at Clouds, shit, I so regretted I was off that day. Just eat the free pizza and then we're out of here, okay? Hello? Come here, cuz you want payback for what happened to her? That's for sure. But I just want to have a normal job, too. No fears, no tears, you know? Were you and Evelyn close? Yeah. Blew up in her face when she showed up back at Clouds. She was supposed to be long gone, the one who got away. But deep in my heart, I was glad to see her back. Feel like such a gunk now.
You'll never get rid of the stench of the corpse. You drop a lot of them, don't you? What's your secret? Subtlety comes naturally to you, doesn't it? Yeah, odd, given how much work I gotta put into it. Done saying hello to each other? Revolution won't plan itself. I modified the behavioral chip. It can equip any doll with a motor reflex system. In other words, make the doll move and fight like a preem tier solo. Fascinating, isn't it? What one can learn while tuning fake orgasms for the moxes. Mind stepping outside? Can't smoke in here. You'll air it out later. Fine, I'll sit by the window. The body will react as if executing a well-trained series of movements. Already tested it out on top. Chip's impulses supplant any natural reflexes, so it'll make users feel like they're experiencing cyberpsychosis. But it's basically the same as when we activate ourselves for a client. Solo skills don't lie in just executing movements. There are split-second processes that happen. Logistics, decision-making, result of years of practice. Doubt your chip's capable of compensating for that. You're probably right, but I don't see another way. Alternatives intensive training, but we don't have time for that. All right, gotta see it to believe it. Finally, someone said it. Tom? Pulled that sequence from a kung fu training virtue. Gotta admit, not bad. Yeah, for the market square in Kabuki. Nah, before we start talking serious biz, gonna need to see serious action. You just saw him. I saw a bar trick. I wanna see a fight. Got an expert in causing bodily harm among us. I wanna see how Tommy handles her. V? Just don't mess up my digs, okay? I like it here. It's on now! What the? Ah! You there? Can you hear me? Ha <laughs> ha Look at me go! You see that? Woo! Gotta do some v? cardio! If you've got something to say, just say it. Who, me? This is my impressed face. V? <sighs> happy now? I'm rarely happy, but that was proof enough. Let's get to it then. You've got an elite force of three muscle heads and a techie. What now? Guards and tiger claws in and around will overpower. Take down, disarm, escort them out, clouds will be ours. Bosses will give an ultimatum, a cut of the proceeds in exchange for never showing their faces at the club again, and having no say in how the club's managed. That's what I thought, a half-baked insane plan. You can't see more than an inch ahead of you. Taking out the security there won't solve anything. Claws will just send more. Hiromi Sato is the man you gotta get to. Where do we find this Hiromi? At his apartment. H8 Mega Tower. Topmost floor. It's a penthouse. Almost never steps outside its glass walls. But I'll figure out a way to get us inside. Wouldn't it be better to ambush him on the street like... Well, he's chomping on a scop dog or taking a piss in a back alley. Why even try breaking into a penthouse? Probably crawl.
On with guards. Hiromi, don't go anywhere without. Security. So one makes no difference. Two, this is only a show of force demonstrating what we are capable of. Which is a lot more than street thuggery. So how about it, V, Tom, Roxy? Made up your minds? I... I need to think about it. Never wasted anyone before, you know? I'm with it all the way. V? Don't tell me you're seriously considering this. Sticking our precious necks out for a bunch of whores? What's up with you? Count me in, Judy. Already said I'd help, didn't I? Thanks, V. Save the gratitude for later, please. No, oh, shit. I'll still have to meet with you, me and let you know. I need a couple days. Have fun. Toodaloo. Michael, hold up. Give us a lift. Only if you don't talk to me. I feel a migraine coming on. Oh, shit. I'm scared, V. Speaking of gratitude, stuff I'm asking you to do will usually come to the price tag, I know. You want to help, I get that. But I'm more than happy to pay your fee in full. Feels like it's only right. Judy! For real? No. Don't want to hear it. But uh, uh, uh. Not a word. V, everything okay? V, you don't look so hot. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm better. Fine. What the hell, V? You, like, sick? It's past. Forget about it. It's late. You're tired. You can crash on my couch if you want. Sounds great. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Make yourself at home. Interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? The way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. Know she dabbled in robotics. No, that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised.
likes getting their feet wet. Don't need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Who would have thought? Perilous future. Electropunk? I'd rather puke out my ears.
Introducing Alois Decan, a deadbeat with a pretentious name. Gone broke my trust and skipped town. Well, fuck him. Only thing I care about now is the data he left in NC. Specifically, what's on his comp. Check the attachment, That's you'll weird. see what to do. <gasps> Find the data bank? Right to the chase, huh? Well, you'll never guess where I found it. A scav hunt. Sandra, you there? Yeah, it's just that. Well, ever since they told me what happened, I just can't stop seeing them. Can't talk right now. Now we can talk. Go ahead. I keep telling myself it's over. The ones who took me are gone. Listen, you've got Trauma Team Platinum. You couldn't be in better hands. I'm sure they already fixed the Sig Jammer exploit. True. But who knows what the scabs will cook up next time? <laughs> anyway, that's all in the past now. Got bigger fish to fry. You wanna talk about it? It's nothing. Just bring the data bank to my apartment. Sending you the address now. Thanks. Llegaste hace poco?
Sandra, it's me, V. Got your data bank. Sandra, you in there? Are you alone? Did anyone follow you? What does it look like? Come on. Don't like leaving the door open. Still worried about the scavs? My, uh, friend told me your memory would be scraped clean. The scavengers? No, I'm worried about... Um, no, no it doesn't... You... In the data bank? Nice place you got here. Tasteful. Thanks. If it's not the scavs you're worried about, then who? Look, I didn't pay you to come here and ask me personal questions. Hey, you mentioned it. Besides, I saved your life. That isn't worth anything. It was worth whatever you got paid. Don't pretend I wasn't just another small-time job for you. Now, did you bring the data bank? Here. Don't worry, it's completely intact. When someone tells me not to worry, it usually means they're hiding something. You wouldn't happen to have seen what's inside, would you? I'm a professional. I have a reputation to uphold. Hmm. Good. Then here you go, for your professionalism. I threw in a little extra for minding your own data. Thanks. Be seeing you. Out of my way. V, got this client. Not the brightest bulb in the bunch. Got himself into some serious trouble. Needs to leave town ASAP. More intel attached.
the fuck into him! Nothing.
Loud and clear. Don't need to yell. What's up? Doing a little competition. Shoot, prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. Uh-huh, that, that'd that make ten. sense. Well, you in? I think big parties were your thing. Yeah, well, it ain't a big one, but, you know. The low on heads. They bring in the clients. Attract me. Could try selling iron straight from factory. Skip the whole part where you tinker for hours on each little shooter. Me. My dignity, please. Sure. I'm in. When? Well, uh... Right. 